Uh, okay, whatever. Let's. Oh, well, this is certainly a town, I think. Fallbrook's great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. I mean, it looks prettier than the other towns. By a lot. Come on, let's leave the weirdo who stares at the door alone and check out this town. Come on. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We have just reached Fallbrook with our Naoka and Parvati in tow. Um, yeah, it's quite a pleasant looking town so far at least anyway. Why is everything so run down in all these places? Anyway, Fallbrook is run by... Uh, run by Sublight, I believe. I don't see the point really of these reputations because they're all all the reputations are good, practically almost. It makes doesn't really have much consequence. None of them are pitted against each other, so you're not really ever making a proper choice but I digress let's have a look around put my gun away it's rather rude hello my bit carts are fully loaded and ready to be spent bring on the recreation okay if you say so let's just have a quick wander around see how big this place is Oh, well, I've leveled up level 20. We'll have a look at that in a minute. A lot of guards about. Sell all junk. Um, nothing worthwhile here, is there? No. What is this place? No, it's just a uh, a bunk. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, this looks like an important room. It's got two guards on the outside. And it's got some stuff. There just seems to be money and ammo just laying everywhere in the whole Halcyon colonies. Nelson Mason. Nelson Mason. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Ah, oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. What are you talking about? Lilia sent me to deal with a sublight problem. Flattery will get you everywhere. Do go on. Did you just say wink at me instead of actually winking? Cross your arms. This will be good. Okay. Um, Lil. Yeah, Lil Lilia sent me to deal with a sublight problem. Why, I, well, I certainly hope you're not insinuating the problem is me. I mean, that would be preposterous. I never do anything under the table that uh, Miss Mallon ain't aware of. If there's any issue, really, you should talk to her. <laughs> She's straight back in Malin's house of hospitality. Uh, what was that favor you wanted? I'll do what was that favor you wanted anyway? I'll ask. Oh, right. Well, I mean, if you're interested... Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. 
Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Uh, what? I had the genius idea to cut our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Let me guess, we pocket half, you save. That is a genius idea, Lion. That's a stroke of shit, really. Okay. Hmm. Let me guess, we pocket half, you save. Uh, let me, yeah, let me guess, we pocket half. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. <sighs> it's just a fetch quest. I, you know, I really can't be bothered with fetch quests. Um... I'd be happy to help. Make it 35 plus sample of the goods and you've got a deal. Before I agree to this, honey, where should I start looking for your missing... Okay, yeah, give me 35% and I might consider it because I'm, I'm not interested in just solving everyone's petty little problems where I've got to go and look for something or, find, or fetch something. 35%? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Morgellons, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Okay. If, if I can be bothered to search for your stuff, I will. Uh, kind of let's carry on. Let's see what actually big stuff we can find that's important and not just people's fetch quests. The shit. Hello. No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. Oh, good to hear. Where can I find Catherine? Can't fathom why you'd go searching her out. But it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. Uh, okay. What's your problem? Okay, seriously, what's your deal? Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fella swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. And now that I've run dry, or nearly so, the fellas have abandoned me back to Byzantium. You wouldn't leave a friend in need, I'm sure. I don't care about your problems. Goodbye. Right, let's carry on. You seen Arthur today? Nah, last time I saw him was... Uh, Scott, I can't remember. You don't think he got crushed during the bridge collapse? It was his team running that drop? Sure puts things into perspective. Uh, there was sublight employees under the bridge. Carry on. Fine. Fine. Heavy machine gun in that locker. Fulbrook patron. Hi, I'm just, uh, health and safety inspectors. Don't mind me. What is that? Plasma carbine. You have a lot of crap just laying around right where to next oh hello let's have a sneak up here mechanical sentry Is this the bar? Insurance office key. Okay, mechanical. You, um... 
You can leave. Recent records. Uh, do, 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 do. Ahmed Brit Wessel. Claim loss of uh, gentlemanly honour and good name. I entered into a gentleman's wager with several chaps at Billingsley's regarding the nature and composition of Spacer's Choice product tarmac and cheese. I was quite certain the product did contain actual tarmac, and my companions wagered that it surely did not. Lo and behold, investigation into the matter revealed. I had been a victim of gross misunderstanding. Yet how was I to know the manner of fair common factory workers eat? And how could Spacer's Choice be so irresponsible as to advertise that its products contains tarmac when it clearly does not? The damage to my reputation has been most grievous. I find myself unable to return to my previous haunts for fear of the stares and chuckles that will follow. My honour as a gentleman has been called into question as has the nature of my relationship with livestock. Resolution denied improper, improper form work. Claimant forgot to say the magic word. Fanny Carwright, loss of one finger. I have been an assistant saw operator with CMP for five years. Most of the blade guards broke last year and management never replaced them. I lost my left ring finger last week as a result. Resolution denied, negligible damage, claimant is right-handed, so the magnitude of this loss is minimal. Updated claim, loss of three fingers. The saw I was working came loose yesterday, and account of CP skipping routine maintenance checks. The accident took two fingers uh, from my right hand and another from my left. Resolution denied. self disqualification claimant was missing a finger from a previous incident and should not have been operating the sharp machinery. Loss of four fingers. Um, yeah. Denied. Claim unintelligible. Okay. I can't be bothered to read all them. Okay, let's carry on. Hello, insurance agent. Uh, is there a workbench around here anywhere? Okay, I haven't found one. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Uh, duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Uh, why is your office on Monarch? What else can you tell me about your insurance policies? What else can you tell me about your insurance policies? Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Who gets their eyebrows insured? <clears throat> Who would get an outrageous statement insured? Disastrous marriages? Who would get their eyebrows insured? Usually character actors or corporate execs with menacing stares. Uh, who would get an outrageous statement insured? That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. And disastrous marriages? Those are mostly for top-rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child, we try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Uh, One thing's for sure, know. you won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Why is this office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. 
Oh, if... Okay, why? Legally speaking, corporations are not allowed to operate on Monarch. But financially speaking, there are certain costs to running a business from within Byzantium's walls. So while our official address is in the city, and while our office here is technically an extension of that address, we found it more expedient to conduct our key operations here. So we can... What's the phrase? Pass savings to the consumer, of course. Yeah, of course. You don't pocket it at all, do you? If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Uh, that's it for now. So Byzantium... Hold on. Is this Byzantium? That could be Byzantium. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's not. Okay. Okay. We've got levels up. Let's just do it while we're here. Skills. Um, long guns. Okay. Yep. Hack. That's because my power armor. Uh, Lockpick. Minus five because of the power armor. Okay, we'll leave it as that. Okay, and perks. I've got another perk. What's this one? 15% health restored per kill. Um, when alone, walk speed, no. Sprint speed, no. Companion crit chance, 15%. Um, I like this one. And that gives me access to the rest of these. 20% damage. Whenever you're affected by... Oh no, rubbish. Okay, we'll look at that later. Nyoka. What does she have? Footsteps? No. Harmful status fake? No. Basic armor, do. Ten percent chance to extract mods in the field. I like that. We'll take that. Okay, we're going to change them to ranged. I don't want them running in because that tends to be when they die, I believe. Close, and I want you close to me. Okay. Let's put. Uh, yeah, let's break some stuff down. The grenade launcher is not going to do any good, is it? To the right or ultra. trying to get some weight back basically I look like I'm yeah idiot that's what I look like 53 49 one minute I thought level 21 level 20 okay we'll put this on then Okay, that'll do. What is behind here? Okay. Need to steal all the ammo we can get. CMP. All right. Okay, come on, let's go. Sublight, dry goods and sundry. House of hospitality. Goods and sundry. Let's have a look. Guns, guns, guns. And ammos.
Zone of Shotgun. No, nothing really. Uh, excuse me, health and safety. We just, I'll be with you in a second. I just need to check your stairs are working properly. Emmett Dunsley. Sketchy low pressure suit. Hello, sir. Okay, let's go see. Why have you got two benches? What is this? You've got two benches. Why? Why? Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Uh, let's trade. See what you got. Nothing. Hello, what's all this? Restricted stock. Why is it restricted? Okay, there's really nothing worth there with the mods have you got? Silver tongue. Ah, oh, that yes, I could do with that. Okay, I'm buying that. Utility decreases the noise, no. Armor mod kit, skill kit increases your range. Okay, I'm gonna buy that as well. No, just one. Insulated. Anodized. Okay. Awesome. I need a workbench. That's what I need. And you have what? I offer high quality and low prices. Pick one for your purchase. If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Let me see what you got. What's the top? Who's the top dog in the what? Who's the top dog in these parts? A town built into the side of the mountain. You don't see one of those every day. Okay, let me see what you got. Weapons. Oh, you've got quite a few weapons. Light assault rifle mark two. That's what I've already got. Plasma carbine rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish. No, there's nothing new anyway. Armor. Nothing. Mods. Mag 2 ray. Damage type N ray. Oh. oh. Mag 2 ray. We want that. Or well, something similar to that. That looks awesome. We need a workbench so I can put some of these mods onto this armor. Where'd he go? Emmett? Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? Uh, you don't look like it, but he was walking. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. You was already walking up and down the balcony to where I'm not entirely decided if I'm being honest I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus so long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination oh you're weird see ya no reason to talk to him what's behind here come on if I look okay it's just your back room you know they really should lock they really should lock people come here you two you know people really should lock their private areas you know everywhere we go they just let us walk into their bedrooms that looks hey, like the bar knock knock go away white that's not how the game works I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door, and you say, I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Do it. Oh, Do it. Uh, having a rough day. The shit. When you're there. I lost the shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keely. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. He's gonna flay the skin from your fingers. I know. I'm meant to be going this way. Right. Okay.
Ain't in the mood to chat. I thought that's what this desk was for. No? Anti-up vendor. Catherine. There's Catherine. All right. Okay, let's talk to the vendor. Wesley? No? You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Got any glacial age whiskey? Why would I want that? I'm going to ask it anyway. No, I don't have any... Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. Oh, uh, what can I bet on? Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose, then shirk on paying. Uh, okay, bye. Do, 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 the full bar's upstairs. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute, Catherine. Looks like rather posh bloke. Steal your stuff. No, don't mind me. Okay. Yvonne. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? I'd like a drink. Uh, well, the strangest thing, really. I was frozen in space. Okay. You do, do you serve drinks at this bar, right? Yes, we know she does. Uh, well, the strangest thing, really. Let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. Not unless it accompanies some extra bits. Understand? How many bits are we talking? More than you can afford at this time. You do serve drinks at this bar, right? Your eyes do not deceive you. This bar serves the sweetest fire water in all of Fallbrook. I got some snacks on offer too from time to time. I'm not looking for work. This is a sublight bar. If you're asking if it's sublight owned, then yes. If you're asking if we give discounts to sublight employees, then the answer is not only no, but doubly no. Ms. Malin built the bar, the saloon, and the town to boot. If you got business with sublight, I suggest you follow up with her. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. There's really n nothing of interest going on in this town at all. Your guards are rather rubbish. I just walked straight past them. Uh-huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Um, okay. Catherine, how about you shut up and let me talk? Nice to meet you, I'm Dave. Yeah, you're real friendly charm. If by nugget of paradise you mean piece of manty dung, then sure. Uh, nice to meet you, I'm Dave. I'll be sure to remember that fella. Want to tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. The boss sent me, you oath. Sanjar said you know something about a corporation operating secret in Monarch. Need a head via. Yes, actually I'm, a, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Okay, that city's probably Cascadia actually, not Byzantium. Byzantium's going to be on a different planet, no doubt. Cut to the chase, Malin. Right, the ultra via stuff that Lillian mentioned. Uh, I found a passcode on a corpse in Stella Bay. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. 
Not me. He was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. Uh, yes, the Alta Vitae stuff that Lilia mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad. Just remind me what Alta Vitae gas is, anyway. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Uh, okay, I can get that done. I, can I do, do that. like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Uh, yep. Uh, I've done all this before. No problem, Nyoka's handled mantis sores before. Our sawbones, Ellie, could probably cook something up. Why would Ellie be able to cook something up? I'll find a way around the mantisaurs. Hmm. Yeah, Ellie could probably cook something up. I shall leave the details to you. I don't know why I want to go now, back to get her though. After you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option though. Unless you want to get dead. Good job I've got good technical skills and good thing we have an engineer. Parvati will handle it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. No, 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 no. Maybe later, I've got my hand. Okay, tell me what it is at least, anyway. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Not interested. Yeah, why, why would I care? I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's going to get it for me. Uh, do, 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 do. What specifically do you want me to do? Easy as eating the cysty pig pie. Yeah, what specifically do you want me to do? Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Um... I'll think about it. Say I just wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the cysty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. 
And if I wanted to kill him? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Uh, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Okay, we'll th consider that at some point, but not right now. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Uh, I'd literally just stopped talking to you. I haven't dealt with Clive yet. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Uh, Sanjar said you know something about a corporation operating a secret in Monarch? Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. Uh, you really can't tell me anything else? Like a... Like give me a key to get into that terminal? If I could, I would have. It's my crew whose lives are on the line. Them dying's just bad business. Mm, uh, that's enough for now. I really don't know how I'm going to get into that... Okay, we're going to look at the the journal for the science weapons. Hawthorne's terminal, groundbreaker and fallbook apparently had success in finding rare items. Okay. Purchasing old logs, oh, data archives from vendors might lead to clues about... Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, let's go... Let's go back to the... Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so... I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. I know your insurance. Like, no, 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 I don't want insurance. Shut up. Let me go. No. To kick in. That's all. Wrong shot. Sorry. This is the one I wanted. Goods. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Uh. No, she didn't. Wait, what? what? I've noticed that a lot in this game. They give you dialogue option, which you've not actually come across yet. Okay, so you do have... Uh, you do have some stuff here. Corporate data pad with UDL branding from the plasma burns and specks of blood. Marring the device. Its previous owner refused to part with it until the quote, get over my dead body. Okay, so, yeah. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Okay, apparently Catherine said you can give me an ID cartridge. I just sort of telepathically got that from her. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Uh... Okay. Secret of your listen. Intimidate. Okay, so I've got a higher persuade, so I think the fact that Catherine sent me makes me a special enough. She needs it for a job? Well, why didn't you say so? Reckoned you asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope. Okay, so now I'm getting that computer. Right. I think that's going to be the science button. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line this... worker, she sure is a beauty. I wonder if... Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. 
Okay, that's the boost fact. Will that be all, or that's do you require wild, something to say, scratch your itch? That's not what I wanted. God. Maybe this is what I need. The screen is cracked and most of the keys are non-functional, fused together from plasma damage. But the few entities are readable. Of those remaining, only snippets can be viewed. Entry 1. Corporate Salba. You are reassigned. Effective immediately. You must report to Site Safety Commander Saunders. Transport provided. Contractor reliable. Proceed overland to research. Factory East Town Designation Fallbrook. Entry 2. What kind of shithole facility is this? I'm never accepting information again. Unless it comes with a gilded. Hastily keeps losing her damn keycard. Expects me to find it for her. Not her fucking swain. At least Powell is... Okay. Shit. Right. Alarming went off again. Before I got a chance to try the new weapon. Seen anything like it? It's... Chast Chastity used it for a damn prank. Now Saunders is going to lock it up. Perfect for crowd control. Easy to maintain. Okay. That doesn't help me. Hastily keeps losing her damn key card. <sighs> What's this? This data pack contains personal journal of Mercer Cole, a low level subcontractor. Most entries pertain to slagging his teammates or complaining about shit for pay contracts. The last entry leads. Reads Can't believe we found. Mm, Evil tea gas in hibernated Rizzo's labs out in the dust bag. La Havite, La, La Vite, Oliviti, whatever it's spelled, it's worth a shit done. Oh, A La Vite, oh, okay, yeah. Looks like old Gertie's hunch is going to prove out. Not that I'll ever tell her the way she goes primal at the slightest sight of criticism. Too much product for us to transport. Going to need a ship to smuggle off world. Uh, probably need Lilia Hagen to send a team. No way Miss Malin can handle this job out in full book. Been working on Rennie. Applying him with a pale cow. Figured I'd get him nice and sloshed. He'll tell me the password into that place. Did some exploring while he and Gertie were testing the Alavitae Alawi gas. Found an old elevator shaft and a lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some dandified weapon. Found an old elevator shaft and a lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some dandified weapon. Things probably worth enough to make me a right top runner after I go back for it. Old Mercer's getting himself to Byzantium, you can bet on it. Can't let Remy or Gertie find out about it. Gertie'd go full blown would go all full burn and demand I split the profits. Remy, he'd probably send me to the boneyard and keep it for himself. So, lab coat modded into a hidey spot. For some dandified weapon. Lab coat modded into a hidey spot. I don't get it. I don't get it. Weapons from the Void. Acquire science weapon on Monarch. A UDL datapad liberated from corporate patrol mentions research facility in the wilderness. Search the facility to see if it contains it. Yes, it does. Uh, Duncan in Fallbrook soldier datapad used by one of the team that scouted the abandoned lab in Cascadia. The unfortunate contractor didn't survive, but one of his entries mentioned going back for the weapon. So Cascadia and that lab. It does contain a science weapon, but I can't get to it. It says here. Keeps losing her damn keycard. Okay, I want to go back for that science weapon, but if there's nothing there, you see okay, Arthur today? Going the wrong way. Nah, 
locked. This is really quite big, actually, this place. What's in here? Cleaner, fancier, stocked with domicile. Cheaper. I've emptied 14 bit carts in the last two hours. Because you've got a terrible tell. Oh, hello. Whenever you're lying, you're right. Jocelyn. Can I help you? Don't think we've spoken before. I would remember. You look, um, well, I wouldn't forget what you're wearing, no. Uh, why would we have spoken before? Most of the freshies spend their first night in the saloon. Fresh to Fallbrook, I mean. Me? I've been here going on three days now. I'm real friendly. Figure I've talked up everyone in town by now. But not you yet. Uh, seems to be your lucky day. I'd like to ask you something. Okay, yeah. Seems it's your lucky day. Every day I've been here has been my lucky day. Never won so much in my whole life. Aside from a close call during my wilderness hike, it's been a grand adventure. I'm dreadful blessed that Captain Cryley hired me onto the crew. Um, which crew? Uh, close call? Which crew? Ah, you wouldn't have heard of them. They're just a small pot of smugglers. Kept getting their spoils stolen when they went to fence them. So they hired on a merc. They didn't mind my being so talkative or them being my first protection gig. Captain Cryley, he does ask me to shut it sometimes. In fact, I probably shouldn't be flapping my gums about his crew at all. Uh, I'm looking for Devil's Peak. Any survival tip? Yeah, I'm looking for Devil's Peak. Look for the horns and you can't miss it. Even I saw them when we flew overhead. Horns? Massive curved stone peaks if you want to get technical. They're a part of the mountain terrain. Okay, any survival tips? Captain warned us to take care around Devil's Peak. The bigger beasties tend to roam the slopes there. Mid-morning, I thought I'd try Fallbrook's self-guided wilderness hike, the one that leads up around the mountain. Safe enough, else they wouldn't advertise, right? Wrong. Scarcely made it back in one piece. Okay. Yeah. I right really... then. Very well. Okay, I really don't care about your survival stories. Let's get cracking. We have important business to attend to. Workbench. There we go. What's this? There's one inside and there's... Oh, no, it's the same one. Okay, nothing new there. Right, we're going to modify... Where's my arm? Is this the one? Ah, uh, toughened. Yep, okay. So we're going to put toughened on. Uh, we've got no gadgets. We do have skill kits. Hunter kit. Ranged weapons. Silver tongue's really good. Okay, have we got anything? No. Silver tongue. Okay, oh, which one? Silver tongue, dialogue and leadership skills. But. Okay, silver tongue. Yeah, it's going to have to be silver tongue. Factory stock armor plane. Okay, we'll leave it. Just leave it. We're just going to leave everything as it is for now. Can I do this up anymore? Hmm. Mag to power, what do we have? Magnum. Mag to zap. Which is what I've already... No, I've got mag to power, haven't I? Yeah, okay, so nothing... Yep, okay. No, we're done. Done, we're done, we're done.
Okay, we've got leadership skills 10, so that's good. That's good. So we're up to 40. I really want to get them up uh, properly as well. So I think my companions are going to be very important in the upcoming. If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall is a good spot to wash your clothes. Okay, it's not a bad suggestion. What is over there? Something's going on over there. Is that a landing pad? I can land there, can I? Oh, that might be handy. Okay. Let's go see what's down here then. Mine? Why have I got a mine? Okay. Ooh, someone's left some secrets back here. Plasma launcher. Toughen. Vented Mark III helmet. Okay. What was that? Okay, not really much, was it? Okay, and the weapon was... Plasma launcher. Break that down. Okay. This is a landing pad. We could use the ship to go from... We could use the ship to go from... Um, uh, Stella Bay to here. But it's a long journey back to get it. It is! Oh! Can we automatically... Can we... Install a remote landing protocol. Confirmation received. Autonomous digital remote landing. <gasps> yes! Yes! The ship comes. Oh, that is awesome. I really like that. What's this one for? Access shipping manifests. Authorized person, authorized users, please enter your authorization code. Everyone else, if I catch you using this thing, okay. Access shipping manifests. Income and spaces, choice perishables. Outgoing. Purchase request. Okay, whatever. That's just all rubbish. Okay, let's get on the ship and do some sorting while we're here. Where are we? That's the UDL lab. And that's the other one. I know that's there. Where are we? We're here, aren't we? Yeah, Fulbrook. It's a bit of a journey back there. Are we actually closer to it? We're not. We're not actually any closer to it than. Yeah, but that's Cascadia. That looks like a drilling platform or something. But let's get in the ship and we'll sort ourselves out. And then we've got to go back for that science weapon. I mean, what? The? I must have missed something. Must have missed something. But, all right, come on, let's sort ourselves out and then we'll continue the adventure afterwards. <laughs> 